quick video. Uh, I was going to show a few people what the uh, newest version of Studio X has to offer with the newest firmware for uh, BeastX uh, FBLs. Um, as you can see, this is Studio X 3.3.6. I'm using the 64-bit version just because I do have a 64-bit computer. Uh, I'm on Windows 7, by the way. Um, so I'm plugged into my helicopter right now to my MicroBeast Plus. It uh, shows I have firmware 5.14, shows the serial number, and it actually will show your gyro uh, live readout. So there's heading lock mode, and there's rate mode. These are your options for what you can go through, and I'll do a quick scroll through all of them. Here's control setup, and it has instructions on every single panel to tell you what to do. And it does have a programmable failsafe for throttle. Heli setup. There's a I'm not going to stay scanned all the way out, but uh, there's always a button for next on the right until you get to the last page. So if you can't see what I'm clicking, that's what I'm clicking. So this is for orientation. Servo update rate. Uh, rudder servo pulse width. And rudder servo update rate. And here is for your rudder. Uh, you can see instead of the button and light on the actual BeastX unit, you have these. Oh, hang on, wrong rate. All right, so I'm moving my rudder stick. So left rudder, and it will tell you when you're set up right. And you can flip it right here. Uh, these are your endpoint settings and your center position all on one page. Swash plate selection and mixing. And it does have adjustable phasing for you scale guys. And this is for centering the cyclic servos. for servo direction so that you can see the top it says set the servo direction so the servos move the swash plate up and down together when moving the collective pitch and make sure pitch control direction is correct. All right, so that's servo direction. Uh, servo throw. This is where you would measure when it's marked at neutral you should have zero pitch. When you click measure it'll go to six degrees and you notice up here it says adjust the value till you get exactly six degrees of pitch. Here's your actual collective. So this all on one screen shows you if your endpoints are set okay. You can change the direction. And this is for setting your actual minimum and maximum pitch. Uh, right now I have these values that give me plus or minus 11 and a half degrees. Cyclic limit adjustment. This is where you can read the top. It says you adjust this up or down uh, until you get full range of motion with full collective and full cyclic without it binding. Cyclic directions. So we've got elevator, same thing as the other panels. It shows you your if your endpoints are set correctly. You can change the direction. You got your aileron. And that's the end for that section. So exit wizard. Now we've got the special stuff. Parameter setup. This is, what is this? Quick trim. You don't ever have to mess with that. Actually, don't mess with that. This is your control style. None of these are selected on mine because if you go to advanced, it gives you all sorts of cool options. Uh, these are your actual rotation rates, something you cannot get with the button and light. You can actually program in the maximum rate of rotation. Uh, that's degrees per second. 
you can see I have aileron at 360, elevator 370, rudder 515. Uh, you can actually program expo to whatever amount you want. You know, I've got 35 set for all of them. Uh, I've even got 20 expo set on collection uh, collective. Make it a little bit um, less sensitive around center stick on the collective stick. And then there's also all of these fun settings. Most of these you can access through the button and light, but not all of them. You notice you've got your Revo mix. So that's uh, Revo mix is tail pre comp. Pitch boost is where it will, if you rapidly move uh, the collective stick, it will actually increase your collective a little bit beyond where it would be programmed to go and then kick back a little bit just gives it a little bit more snap if you're moving the stick quickly All right, so I'm clicking the home button uh, this is governor so this is where you can set up your governor if you want to run a governor through the micro beast right now I have it off because I'm running the uh, speed controller governor still have a little bit more testing to do because I, I was running micro beast governor for a little while and it worked really well um, I just have to do more tweaking to find the right settings before I can actually run it full time again um, you got sensor test I can actually spin oh my motor's not plugged in never mind I'm gonna show you I can do a sensor test and show you that it's actually getting a readout on the sensor but um, and then you have more settings down below these are your ramp up settings. You can program in your gear ratios and everything. Um, next, scroll up. Collective feed forward, cyclic feed forward, throttle response and gain. I still don't know what the difference is between these two settings. Throttle response is basically explained as being gain. It just doesn't describe which part of the gain. And this just says gain. That's why I still have to play with it a little bit more. And then back up in presets. Uh, this is where I can do restore points. Factory reset. And this is where you can run logs. I don't know if version 4 has this, but version 5 does. Uh, you can actually run a log. Actually, I believe every single flight records a log. You just have to plug in before you unplug the battery to be able to pull the log out. Um, I have never used it, so I don't know what parameters it records. Uh, I actually want to do this. I'm going to bring my laptop with me next time I fly and see what it actually does. Um, okay. Well, maybe that's a vibration analysis? I have no idea. I gotta mess with it. But. And then you know the firmware update screen. That's it.